All right. You're so kind uh, it's, to me. it's time for these beautiful agastache yes. plants. We're actually calling them rainbow dwarf hummingbird mint. Yes. But uh, they do stay in this dwarf size, so they're very tidy and they give you a beautiful pop of color. I know you love using these, don't it's you? It's my number one yeah. go to perennial for my garden and also for my mm -hmm. clients mm -hmm. because the deer won't eat them and it adds this fluff of color. I love them. So they're a preseason price today of $23.37, which is awesome. That goes away at the end of the day. You will not see that low price again. You're getting all three. You don't have to pick a color. And look at the colors, I know, though. They're That's so what pretty. we call it the rainbow hummingbird mint. Mm -hmm. And the reason it's called hummingbird mint is because the foliage smells like citrus yes. mint. Yes. But it does. Mm -hmm. it, don't get confused because it's not like mint that's going to take over your garden. Mm -hmm. It behaves mm -hmm. itself beautifully in containers or in the ground, and the hummingbirds will be all over it. I saw that Nancy's got one of those hummingbird. Uh, yeah, the, the wall hanging. The wall hanging. Uh -huh. How beautiful! It made me think about it. But hummingbirds will be all over this, and you will love it. The deer won't touch it at all. It's just gorgeous. Come back every year. Fantastic. Okay, so. Yes. Already busy on the lines. A lot of you are buying more than one. Uh, let's take a look at the specific ones that we're getting here. Well, what we've got here is that we've got coral mm -hmm. right here, which is beautiful. We've also got silver blue, which is this really beautiful silvery blue color. Yeah. Uh, kind of like, like angel face rose. Yes, um, right. Does, don't you think? Uh -huh. And then we've also got the golden one here. And that's kind of like a dream sickle color. That's really pretty. Ooh, too. I want one of those too. I know. 16 to 18 inches tall. They're they're tidy, they're compact, it's colorful filler. As you can see, they bloom all the way down to the ground. So you can plant these in the front of your border. They're not leggy. Many agastache plants are leggy. These are absolutely not. And I use them for my clients all over. Again, cut flowers to come in uh, to, to have. But if I've got uh, an area in the garden mm -hmm. where I think some things may, may have died out. Yes. These will fill in. So they fill in those areas. Like say if the plant next to it dies, mm -hmm. it just kind of will fill up that area. Yeah. And it's a great volume plant and uh, butterflies and hummingbirds love this. And if you picked up our sedum party carnival that we had on earlier, yeah. the butterflies are wild about the blooms on the sedum. Oh, and if you plant wow. these dwarf yeah. things along the edge of your pathway mm -hmm. and then the sedum mm -hmm. on the inside of the pathway, Way, you've got an entire habitat garden. Okay, here's what's happening. This is selling out. You oh guys, dear. this may not last till the end of the show. So uh, th get the preseason price. It's really attracting a lot of customers to ordering this. It's $23.37 for three plants. That means what? Less than $8 a plant. That's kooky crazy. <laughs> and uh, they will get uh, this big this season? Yes, or, indeed okay. they do. And what I'm shipping out to you, let me show you so you okay. don't wonder. This is the way that it ships out to you. Of course, all of the plants are labeled. You'll know exactly which color is which okay. in case you want to split them up or do them all together. In fact, you can put all three together in a whiskey barrel okay. and have a kaleidoscope of great. color. These will bloom their heads off this year, years and years to come. And let me just show you what I've done here. Okay. These are in containers, but imagine you've got these, imagine these are planted in the ground. Yeah. We had our sedum on earlier, mm -hmm. by the way, which is gorgeous. This is gr growing in the edge of your pathway, oh, in the pathway. Yeah. Butterflies are all over those blooms. Then you've got butterflies and hummingbirds coming to this. Those two items alone will make your pathway look like a stairway to heaven. You know, uh, we shot the opening to this show at Phillips House in October, which still looked gorgeous with all these flowers everywhere. If you walk over to his garden or if you have somebody in your neighborhood or in your family who's got a fabulous garden, this is the kind of thing that they use to get those colors. When you look at those pretty British gardening magazines and things like that, this is what they use. They're very low maintenance. These don't get out of control and leggy and, and, and sparse looking. They're always full of flowers, which brings lots of butterflies. So if this is something you've never tried in your garden, I highly recommend it because you'll get great results and they get this big this summer. Yes, indeed they do. And Carolyn, here I picked mm -hmm. off this leaf. Mm -hmm. Smell the foliage. I know. I know, it smells like lemon spearmint. It, that's exactly what it smells it's like. It's like citrusy spearmint. Yeah. Oh, that's great. And this is just the leaves, you that's, guys. The, and that will kind of carry through the air in your garden. Yes. You know? Yes. You're, you use these a lot. When you it's go my go-to perennial. It's, there's flowers everywhere. When you walk along that path, 
He's got the stone path we showed you with the sedum planted in between and then just walls of flowers everywhere. And this is what he uses because let me tell you something. Philip Watson is not out there like every day with high maintenance plants. <laughs> you put you pop stuff in the ground and you water it with a hose and I turn my back and on it. then you just want it to be pretty and it is and it is when you use <laughs> so, stuff like this, right? right? It is. Thank so you. and Philip lives here in Pennsylvania, so we're talking about, you know, climates that get cold. This is going to be great over the winter. Oh my gosh, it's gone. It, oh, wow. Out the door. My goodness. <laughs> okay. Well, let me just say we've got you covered <laughs> at Cottage Farms. This is what we do for you. We aren't happy if you aren't happy. Gardening should